in order to remain distinctly the people of God in the culture in which we live, we have to say, I can go this far, but no more. Now, I've been thinking about that this week, thinking about the times in which we live, and I would like to suggest four, maybe we could think of them as lines in the sand. Four issues, as we think about the world in which we live, we understand that we're going to live in this culture. We're not going to totally separate ourselves from it. We might appreciate some things about those who do, but we would look at them and say they're absolutely not being anything for influence for the glory of God. We would certainly see those that just completely assimilate into the culture as having no distinct witness for God, no distinction for God. So. Where are the lines that we would draw today? Let me give you four that I believe as the people of God in the world in which we live, we must keep this as, as how we believe, what we think, how we live to be distinctively God's people. I'd put number one like this. We choose the sanctity of life, not the culture of death. We believe all humans born and unborn are image bearers and therefore all life is precious, all life is sacred before God. Every soul is eternal. Therefore, we're against abortion, euthanasia, and any other practice or philosophy that diminishes the sanctity of life. To fail to identify with life in the day in which we live is to fail to distinctively be the people of God. That's one line in the sand. Second, I would put this way, we choose a biblical sexual ethic, not the modern sexual revolution. For we believe that God's design is beautiful. It's not just right, it's beautiful. It is right, but it's beautiful. His design for sex and marriage and the family is inherently good and to be desired over the self-autonomy of the sexual modern revolution. Line number three, we choose God's revelation as the source of truth, not human reason. We do believe in reasoning. Isaiah said, come, let us reason together. It's just that we don't see human reason as the source of truth but the revelation of God, as in His Word, is the source of truth. And number four. Number four is a little different than the other three, but I think it is important. I think it's critically important. To fail in those first three is to fail to be distinguished as the people of God. I would argue this fourth is the same, and that is this. We choose respect, not hostility. Not only is what we say important, but how we say it. Not only is what we stand for important, but how we stand for it. We speak the truth in love, even in the face of death. We choose respect, not hostility. As I think about it, these are four clear lines in the sand. These are four issues in which we would say we will not defile ourselves. We cannot defile ourselves. To go across this line is to lose the distinction of being the people of God.